Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Prophetess Nikki with another word of encouragement for you today. I want to take the time to thank you for all of your support and what God is truly doing through our channel here, people of God. Thank you for all that you do. I love each and every one of you. God bless you. If you're tuned in and you're not subscribed to our channel, hit that red button to become part of our family here. And don't forget to tap that notification bell. I pray that God's face will always shine upon each and every one of you. May the Lord continue to bless you and prosper you in every area of your life. Glory to God. I want to give encouragement today. To those of you, oh God, that are going through, to those of you who have been going through for a long, long time, and it doesn't matter how long you've been praying, it doesn't matter if you laid the plate down to fast, that situation, that problem will not move. Oh, glory to God, I want you to know, let your ears, let your spiritual ears hear today. It's been a thorn in your flesh. Listen, people of God, it's been a thorn in your flesh. Everything that you've been going through, that you've been trying to pray away, that will not move. Oh God, it's been ordained by God. Oh God brought me to 2 Corinthians chapter 12, 7 and 10 for you today. It has been ordained by God. Oh glory to God, it's been a gift from God. Yes, it's been a thorn in your flesh. And that thorn in your flesh, it has been gifted by God. And it has made your life very uncomfortable, people of God. That pain has made your life uncomfortable. But remember that pain is an indicator that you are still here. Pain is an indicator that you are still alive, people of God. It may feel like the worst season of your life. Oh, listen, spirit people of God. Those of you who are led by the Spirit are the true sons and daughters of the Most High God. It may feel like you're in the worst season of your life. It seems like the more you pray, oh glory to God, the more you pray, you feel like nothing seems to change. And sometimes, oh God, because God is sovereign, God does whatever he wants to do and he needs none of our permission. He is God. Sometimes God changes you and not the situation. So God wants you to see from a different perspective today. People of God, you may feel, oh God, you may feel extreme pain. You may feel vexed down in your soul. But this is God's way sometimes of using your trials to discipline you and to make you stronger, to make you better. Do not despise Oh God, the suffering, the persecutions, the trials, the tribulation that God has gifted you with. Oh, I know that word gift doesn't feel good to the flesh, but you live by the spirit and not after your flesh, people of God. And remember that God's strength is made perfect in your weakness because his grace is sufficient for you. Oh, glory to God is telling you his grace is sufficient for you. Oh, whatever won't move, whatever is stubborn that won't move, God is telling you today that his grace, his grace is sufficient for you. When you are at your weakest point, people of God, God is always strongest. Did you hear that? When you and I are at our weakest point in life, God is his strongest because what's on the inside of you and I is stronger. Greater is he that is within you and I than he that is within the world. This thorn in your flesh that God has gifted you with is there to keep you humble. Oh, glory to God. No matter what it is, a physical problem, a natural problem, a financial crisis, a disobedient child, a wayward child, a broken marriage, a broken relationship, ministerial problems. Oh, God, it doesn't matter what it is, whatever you label it. Oh God, that you just can't seem to get rid of, no matter how much you pray, or it doesn't matter how well you live for God. You and I, you and I are not exempt from the storms of life because we serve the Lord. As a matter of fact, we can expect more battles when we belong to God. But God said his grace, oh be encouraged today, people of God, God's grace is sufficient no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're going to go through in the future, God's grace is going to see you through. 
God's grace is going to see you through. God's grace, oh God. God has graced each of us, a thorn in our flesh. Yes, he has, just like Paul. Oh, he allowed the enemy to buffet Paul. He allowed the enemy to buffet his apostle. And so does God allow the enemy to buffet us. Oh God, Jesus, God has graced each of us, a thorn in our flesh. And there's nothing that you and I can do about it to change it. There is nothing that you can do to change his mind, no matter what you do, people of God. It doesn't mean that God doesn't love you. Oh no, don't get it twisted. Because God doesn't do what he wants, what you want him to do. Doesn't mean he doesn't love you. See the greater picture. You have a bigger purpose for your life. God does it. Why does God do this? He does it so we don't become arrogant people. He does it. Glory to God. He graces us with a thorn in our flesh so we don't become prideful, conceited, and entitled people. Oh, God, it's that thing in your life that is getting on your nerves so bad. Oh, God, it's that thing. You put the name on it. You put the word on it. It's that thing. Yes, it's that thing that you've been desperately praying and asking God to remove it. He hasn't done it. He still loves you if he decides not to remove it. And don't allow the enemy to call you to look at your God in a negative light because God didn't do what you asked him to do. Oh, God. He, oh, Jesus. Don't look at God in a negative way, people of God. Because you didn't, God didn't do what you wanted him to do. Oh, God. Don't look at God in a negative light because he didn't do things how you wanted him to do it. Oh, God. Or oh, when you wanted him to do it. He's still God. He's sovereign. He does whatever he wants to do. Oh, glory to God. God has a good plan for your life. So submit to the will of God. If you have found yourself in this situation, God is telling you that his grace is sufficient for you. So every time you feel the pain of a problem, every time you feel the pain of a person or something physical piercing your flesh, oh, God. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. But every time you feel the pain of a problem, oh God, that is piercing your flesh, it is our God reminding you and I that his son was pierced in his side and with the crown of thorns on his head. God has a purpose for your thorn. Don't you ever forget it. God has a purpose for your thorn. And whatever you do, don't allow the thorn to cause you to willfully sin and turn away from God. God is still sovereign. He is not powerless. Did you hear that? God is still sovereign. He's still sitting on the throne. He is not powerless. He has all power in his hand. Remember that the devil has a purpose for your life. And so does God. God's purpose, however, will stand the test of time in your life. God is still in control, no matter how out of control your life appears. It doesn't matter, oh God, if you have no equilibrium in your life right now. It doesn't matter what is shaky, oh glory to God. It doesn't matter what appears to be out of control in your life. God is still in control, people of God. It's been a thorn in your flesh. Oh, glory to God. But God has gifted you this thorn in your life, people of God, as painful, as hurtful, as, as uncomfortable as it, as it is for you. It came from God. It may seem like this is a nightmare that is not going to end for you. God is going through this situation with you. You are not alone. You are not orphaned. God said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. God is not going to pull his presence back from you, people of God, in this season of testing, in your season of trial and tribulation to God. Stay submitted. Stay under the almighty God. Stay under the hand of of God. The Bible tells us to resist the enemy. Oh God, resist him. Submit to God and he will flee from you, people of God. I love each and every one of you so, so very much. 
I am laboring before the Lord for you. I am touching and agreeing with you that the will of God will manifest in your life. Glory to God. Hang in there with the Lord, people of God. You are strong people. You are powerful people. And don't you ever forget it. And don't allow people, the enemy or circumstances in your life to cause you not to believe how much God loves you because you have a problem or oh God. It doesn't mean that God doesn't love you. It means that God knows what's best for you. He knows what's best for you. He knows the way that you should take. He knows glory to God. He hasn't forgotten you. He does know where you are. He knows how old you are. He knows how long you have prayed. He knows how long you have sacrificed. He know how long you have labored. God knows your faithfulness to him. God knows your obedience to him and he will reward you people of God. Oh Jesus, I love you. Until next time, you be encouraged in the Lord and live for the Lord. Be led by the Holy Spirit, people of God. It's the spirit in you that is greater than anything in this world. And remember, you are in this world, but you are not of this world, people of God. And you do not operate out of this Babylonian system. We are citizens of heaven. Oh, glory to God. We are king's children. So we operate from a different principle, people of God. Maintain your integrity, people of God. Keep your head, keep your heart. Oh, glory to God, to the bosom of God. So when he speaks, Oh, glory to God. You can hear him. Glory to God. In John 5, 27, I think it is that the Bible tells us that my sheep will know my voice and a stranger he will never follow. Pray, read the word of God and allow the Holy Spirit, no other spirit, the Holy Spirit of Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one and his anointed will give you revelation. Glory to God. The word of God has to be revealed to you, people of God. Not with a natural mind. The natural mind that person cannot understand the word of God because it was not written naturally. It's written spiritually. Oh, God came upon the men to write the word of God or oh, who he and filled them with the spirit. I love you. God bless you. Until next time.